And, and I'm actually headed to my first party, which will be at the Western Hotel. And you're going to come with me to a, uh, a slew of parties here and perhaps Oakland as well. So let's roll. Folks, I just want to share a little irony with you. It's in this ballroom that I first saw Senator Barack Obama speak live, February 2007. In fact, it's in a video that's uh, on this YouTube channel. Or, of course, if you're not on YouTube, it's uh, in a link that will appear at the end of this video that you can check out. But uh, the irony is that where I'm at tonight, election night, is where I first heard Senator Barack Obama speak as the special guest of Senator Bar uh, Barbara Boxer. Amazing how that works, isn't it? Hey, Elena, you're from Russia. What do you think about uh, this election party stuff and excitement? Well, this is a history in the making, and democracy is amazing in this country. Um, in Russia, it would never happen. Wow. We can really change, you know, people's lives. And I'm impressed. How long have you been in the United States? Eleven years. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're you're, you're really part of the process. You voted. I am. You voted. I can. I'm not a citizen, but oh. if I would, I would. Hey, if I could, I would. <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot. You're welcome. Cool. Obama, 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 Hey, so what do you think about this? Oh, I could not be more thrilled. Yeah, uh, really? yes. excellent. I'm, I'm so excited and uh, history in the making. Very excited to be part of this historic evening tonight. Very exciting. Well, you know, I, I, I've been voting for many years, and this is probably the best election I've ever been participated in. This is amazing. Part of history. This is the most exciting election I've ever participated in. It's going to change the course of history of the U.S. This is a big night. <laughs> quite, quite striking. I want to go to the state of Pennsylvania as this fills in. Remember we talked earlier about Cooper... So what do you think about the scene here and with the campaign? Uh, the, camp the, the scene here, well this is, uh, we were looking for something like this uh, to, uh, to kind of bring in the, uh, the Obama presidency hopefully and hopefully uh, uh, things look like they're going in the right direction. So uh, the, uh, the campaign has been very long, nearly two years now and so it's, uh, I already feel a lot of weight lifting off my shoulders now. So. Uh, what kind of role did you play? Uh, role, uh, well, other than uh, just uh, emailing on my uh, my inbox and uh, uh, attending rallies and just kind of being as vocal as I possibly can, engaging as many people as I possibly can about uh, the issues and, and trying to keep it as much on issues and, and keep away from a lot of the a lot of the trash talk because I think a lot of things that Obama stands for just are very solid or very uh, he can stand on the issues alone. He doesn't need a lot of a lot of trash talk. So. Hey, so what are you supposed to be then? Obama? I'm the devil and I'm glad the Republicans are gone because even they were going to mess up. <laughs> <laughs> They're worse than hell, dude. Are you Is getting... that Sarah? It's supposed to be. I didn't get the wireframes done yet. But... <laughs> and all the red dresses were sold out. So. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, no problem. All right. All right. <laughs> so, ma'am, I saw you cheering. What do you think about all this and what it means for our country? Well, I'm very excited because...
I thought, what if Barack Obama is the symbol who walks through? What if he is the representative to the world of the United States? That is going to be such a transformational experience uh, in terms of how the world sees us that uh, I don't know if we can really figure it out. We'll answer this Make sure they say, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a lawyer, I want to be a politician, I want to be What do you think? Can I ask you What do you think? Hey! Yes, I see, if I was to Celebration there. We've been showing you images from around the world. Sold out O'Brien also watching the reaction here. Sold out your thoughts. We were doing our documentary Black in America. It was amazing to have people think about the promise that a Barack Obama election could bring. People in Utah speak about it specifically and in case it were not to happen. African Americans, of course. There are so many issues in Black America, some of which we looked at. And and the president is saying there's transformational men, transformational forces they right now, whether it's FCR head to or General Kennedy that or Ronald Reagan, the next they're president people who took America in the new frontier. And uh, whether it's the also Depression or the Cold War, or today we see new global challenges, uh, security, certainly a new global economic frontier for America. And it seems that America has once again chosen to be transformational in some way to take a country that's a little lost and uncertain into the future. A new frontier election, a new frontier president. I think that's what we're seeing tonight. Godspeed. So you said you're a volunteer for over a year? Yes. What do you think about that? To see I'm this day come. overwhelmed. I'm sure you want and, uh, to say that, yes, to be an American. I hope that it would happen. Um, in this together. And so I think they also but I wasn't celebrate sure. as well. Because that family, and I've given their everything that I life, have. A white mother from Michigan. Money. Just like time. Time. Travel across the country. Every, every moment and every day. day. We're about two minutes away from yeah. hearing from uh, Senator John His story is my story. White mother, black father, welfare, Ivy League educated. But that's not why I support him. I just think that he's a man of honor and integrity. And I'm a high school educator. And I'm just so proud and so overwhelmed right now. And I kind of can't believe it's happened. Um, and it's a moment I'll never ever forget. And I know I was a part of it. And that's what's really special is that we were all a part of it. And he asked us to rise to, to, rise to our, our higher angels. And we're all doing that. To all my done. campaign it's comrades, done. from Rick Davis and Steve Schmidt and Thank Mark Salter, to Thank every you. last volunteer who fought we so did. hard and valiantly. Please give a huge round of applause to Eric Heskin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
our time. This is the moment in time when the United States will understand what San Francisco values are really all about. This is the moment when people will understand that this is not just a city that tolerates diversity, this is a city that celebrates diversity. But the night is young. We still have many battles ahead on the state level as it relates to Proposition 8, or as I call it, Proposition Hate. We still have many local battles, and we will continue to get back to you. I want to say thank you to our incredible Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. helping us win back our country. And let me say thank you to my colleagues on the Democratic County Central Committee. Let me say thank you to my colleague on the Board of Supervisors, Jake McGoldrick. Let me say thank you to the incredible one and only Melanie Nutter. Thank you, Melanie. And let me say a profound word of thanks to the one and only Laura Spangen. Party on! What I wanted everybody to hear was what I heard tonight, was that Andrew Young, for me, said it best at Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta. He said, tonight represents a victory of vision over violence and a victory of grace over greed. And that struck me right in the heart. Andrew Young, I've been listening to him since I was a boy. You know, he had it right. You fought the good fight for years. What does this mean to you? This means that we can have a country that's based on our needs as an entire people, not just a small group for elites to try to run this joint and run it into the ground that they just did. Thank you, sir. Yeah. What happened tonight was absolutely historic, absolutely incredible. I'm 56 years old. I didn't think I would ever get to see it. And what is so wonderful is under the auspices of one nation because there's no time for color. We're all Americans, we're all children of God, but the American way says that everyone has a chance if they pull themselves up by their own bootstraps. But we have to remember, a lot of people haven't read the uh, Declaration of Independence or the Bill of Rights, but in God we trust, and we trust in God tonight. We put our trust in Him and bam! Well, hey Brent, you, you volunteer around the how long? What do you think? You know, I guess it's the greatest day ever. We turned the corner for humanity. We did it for the kids. Thanks to everyone and here we are. Thanks to Zenny Abraham. We rock and rolled. We all did our job and that's a beautiful thing. Thank you. Thank you. So what do you think about tonight? You said that you were at Martin Okay, Luther King's what I think is this is a time for deep, deep rejoicing and recognizing that we've won something very important here and we have to continue to work very, very hard to make sure that everyone has a, f a fair shake, okay? I'm an older lady. I remember when JFK was assassinated in college I was, you know, in my early 20s and then at a young and impressionable age we lost our Robert Kennedy and um, Martin Luther King Jr. I was really awakened at that point when I went to Atlanta and was at his funeral and walked through waves and waves of people mourning and I felt the impact of that loss all through my life and I'm really grateful and I see some light at the end of the tunnel. I think we can reawaken that dream and we can move forward into a fabulous, fabulous opportunity for our children and our grandchildren. And God bless Barack Obama and his sweet family. And their puppy. And their puppy. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, I've never thought in my lifetime I would see this happen, yes. Something else. Yes, yeah, something else. Yeah, unbelievable, yes. Yeah. Glad to see it, yeah. If I may ask, how old, how old, um, how old are you? 63. You've seen a lot. 63. I was born in the South. I have seen a lot. It's amazing that the South become your more bombers. Right, right, yes, yes. Thank you. Times have changed quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.